hi everyone in this video once again i am going to discuss about how to get interest in studying organic chemistry uh, how to approach is there any way to approach a uh, way to approach organic chemistry in easy way or how to remember all such reactions the numbers of reactions in exam or how to remember it properly is there any way or is there any method is there any tricks okay uh, first and foremost is what the main the top you have to do at the least one is you have to practice your IUPAC nomenclature very thoroughly with all the functional groups okay uh, when uh, think that you have practiced the IUPAC nomenclature very thoroughly you know that you are ready with the IUPAC nomenclature do not stop practicing IUPAC nomenclature you always keep in touch with our IUPAC nomenclature at least taking you know, half an hour or uh, one hour at least in a day uh, or keep in touch with the um, organic uh, IUPAC nomenclature according to a suitable time okay now when, uh, why do I more focus on IUPAC because uh, this will make you the way clear okay this will help you to or this will help you to get interest in studying organic because we are going to write all the names right this react with this okay alkyl halide react with this to form this if you don't know what is alkyl what is halide okay uh, then you are not going to learn organic uh, chemistry uh, and this and this al alcohol on reacting with this suppose if you don't know what is alcohol then what will you do okay so uh, the only way to clear the first step and, and that is your IUPAC just do all this and see uh, what I'm saying is right or does it work or not okay so today i'm going to teach uh, here after practicing iups nomenclature a part of your chemistry will be clear okay that means you will able to understand uh, apart from that there are many more to know about the basics part of the organic like let me teach here types of carbon when i say types of carbon we are going to learn about primary carbon we are going to learn about primary carbon. The primary is symbolically represent as 1 degree. Primary carbon, we have secondary carbon. We have secondary carbon. We have tertiary carbon, okay. Tertiary carbon, okay. Let us know it. So, when I say carbon, first and foremost thing is, is that carbon has four valencies. So, I have drawn one carbon. I have drawn two carbon, three, okay. Just... I have chosen so carbon has how many valency four so one bond is here so h3 so one two three four always maintain the four one two three four one two uh, uh, uh one three four mm, three four now done so we are going to uh, specify each carbon which one is primary or secondary see this carbon connected to one carbon only don't see the other one just forget the other one okay this carbon directly connected to how, how many carbon we are studying about this carbon this carbon is connected to how many carbon directly one carbon so primary this carbon directly connected to how many carbon two carbon secondary okay some student may think what is uh, there are two other carbons okay just see the nearest directly contact carbon two so it is secondary this carbon directly contact with the two carbon directly bonded with the two carbon secondary this carbon is also secondary this carbon is now only one carbon connected sorry primary okay okay let us take the example of secondary see you can draw any carbon this is the beauty of carbon we can increase the chain as much as possible we can fill our books uh, these pages with carbons okay so this is the beauty of nature beauty nature of the carbon which has can increase the carbon chain so that is called your catenation property now i think you can post your video and predict which one is your primary secondary and tertiary now see this carbon directly connected to how many carbon one carbon primary that means we can again make it simply simple that terminal carbon with single bonded is primary primary right now this carbon is directly contact or directly bonded with how many carbon one carbon two carbon three carbon so this is your tertiary carbon okay is there any four degree carbon that means let us draw this carbon connected to how many carbon see terminal carbon we can write without thinking this is ch3 but it should make sure that this is a single bond so this is your four degree carbon as we are clear with this primary secondary and tertiary we can also learn some other way like c 
C, C, carbon. Now, this is not C. This is Cl. Okay, don't read as C. This is Cl. This is another Cl compound. Okay, atom. Now, carbon need to be balanced. CH3, CH2, 1, 2, 3, 4. I think I don't require to repeat now. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, done. Now, Cl has came. Now, uh, what shall we give to this name? Now, this halide. This is called halide CLBR app. Okay, all the group 17 are called halide groups. So, halide groups are represented by X. Okay, X. So, it is fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Okay, so astatine is also there. I have written up to here. So, Cl connected carbon. Let us focus on this carbon. Cl connected carbon. We will not focus to other carbon. This Cl connected carbon, let us see. It's connected to how many? Directly to how many carbon? One carbon only. Directly bonded to one carbon. So, this is called your primary primary halide okay this is called your primary halide because we we need to know what is primary halide what is secondary halide what is tertiary halide because when you react a primary halide with one reaction it gives one product so uh, understanding uh, making clear of this is very much important now let us draw another one write another one cl now let us see what is this cl primary secondary or tertiary so we will go to connected carbon this carbon is connected to how many carbon directly one two three so this is three degrees so tertiary or we call it as tertiary halide okay this carbon c okay wait this carbon is connected to two carbons directly okay Two carbon this carbon cl connected carbon is connected to two carbons directly so this is secondary halide okay so this is called your secondary halide so this carbon cl connected carbon is tertiary cl connected carbon is secondary in this way i can replace this by another group like oh which is called alcohol oh so primary we will if it is oh we call it as primary alcohol secondary alcohol tertiary alcohol so first you need to know is that the primary carbon which is secondary carbon which is tertiary carbon okay so clear this part now let us go to the other one let us talk about the hybridization of the carbon okay so hybridization when we talk about hybridization we are going to talk about hybridizations of orbitals so when we say hybrid it is mixing up of two or more right so orbital mixing up we will talk about sp2 sp sp3 okay now let me draw a carbon now you can easily make your own carbon by just balancing your your four valency either with any atom okay this i have taken as hydrogen here so see here this carbon single bonded carbons are all sp3 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 okay so without thinking you can just write sp3 now let us talk about another carbon ch3 ch2 double bond ch2 now is there any mistake this carbon one two three four okay so it is only h now see here uh, as we have learned here single bonded carbon is always sp3 okay now this carbon is double bonded as well as single bonded but we will give we will take double bond we will consider as double bond okay in the form now i will write directly sp2 and i will say that um, double bonded carbons are always sp2 okay so see this also you can write it sp2 now is there any technique or is there any way to know this the why double bonded carbon is sp2 or um if we get confused what how shall we clear it okay now how is this sp2 I'll, I'll teach you here see uh have uh, see uh, pi bond p pi bond means p uh, px py pz total we have how many hybridize uh, how many p orbital three pi bond means what we have utilized one p so just cancel one part so how many p are there two so just still sp2 still two p are left so this is sp2 okay now let me talk about ch3 ch um then um okay let us talk about ch2 c ch okay now see this carbon is single bonded what i told single bonded carbon are always sp3 this carbon is what single bonded so it is also sp3 
this carbon now it is sp2 uh, means this carbon now uh, it is triple bond now okay it triple bond what i told p has how many p orbital p has three orbital suborbital that is px direction px py pz it has three direction that means we have uh, 3p now pi means one p has utilized another pi means another p has utilized how many p has left so it is s we will take s always okay s p there is no other p so s p only so this is also s p so in this way we will uh, we have cleared about the hybridization of the uh, carbon okay so triple bonded are always s p single bonded are always s p three double bonded are s p two how to remember it pi bond means one p has utilized out of three p orbital one has utilized how much has remained two out of three pi or p orbital two has utilized pi bond means we have already used okay just see we have used p it has 2p has used how many remaining one so in this way you can remember okay so in the next video i will discuss more about the other concepts